Hello, everyone. I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas from Sojourn Psychology. Um, as you all know, this time of year can be highly stressful for individuals with all of the expectation and the busyness and everything that's happening. And so what I thought I would do is I would read you through a letter that was sent to us here at Sojourn and um, give you my comments on it and see if any of the information helps you get through your Christmas stress the way that it may help this person. So the letter says, Dear Sojourn, I'm at my wit's end this Christmas. For the last 1,750 years, I've watched my husband's mental health decline every year at about this time. Now, normally he is obsessed with making lists and schedules and hoards every penny I earn selling my baking during the year, but this time of year it becomes unbearable. He not only makes lists of every person we know, every employee we have, and every gift we wrap, but he checks them all twice. I understand checking them once, but twice? It takes him days. He also starts sorting people into good or bad categories based on a very strict rule. Once he makes his list, he insists that anyone in the bad category gets a lump of coal when we give our annual Christmas gifts. And if you can imagine, he sends our poor employees outside into the freezing cold weather to gather perfectly shaped lumps of coal. Every year, he spends hours organizing his timetable over and over. I mean, I know we've had a lot of people on our Christmas list every year, but you'd think after basically taking the same route for 1,750 years, you would not have to manage or not have to work out the exact number of milliseconds to spend at each house. And the amount of food he manages to eat in a 24-hour period has me very worried. The doctor insists every year that he needs to eat less at one time, but nothing stops him. And don't even get me started on the employees around here. My husband hires exactly the same type of person over and over. It's like they're carbon copies of each other. They spend all year making toys in my husband's workshop. And of course, my husband has them making everything as cheaply as possible. Now, I'm sure you know that after selling my baking for 1,750 years and never spending a penny, that we could have more than enough money to buy everyone gifts. We could order them off of Amazon the night before and send them through UPS. But every time I bring it up, my husband tells me that's just not how things are done. Instead, we spend our lives checking on the work done by thousands of employees who are meticulous. Every item has to be exactly the same or they act like the world's ending and they sing the same song over and over. Even when I try to play other kinds of music, apparently all 1000 of them insist that singing that song makes sure they make the toys correctly. I'm reaching out to you as a last resort. Is there anything you can suggest or any information you can provide to help me at this time of year? Sincerely, Mrs. S. Claus. Well, Mrs. Claus, I'd like to thank you for your letter. You have some very valid concerns about your husband. I can imagine this time of year that um, adding any extra stress in this way can be very difficult for yourself. It sounds like you're concerned for not only your husband, but also for his employees. They seem to be a very unique group of individuals. So after I received your, your lovely letter here, I spent some time thinking about what possibly could be going on. And I can only uh, come to one particular conclusion. And that is I believe that your husband has obsessive compulsive personality disorder. It seems that he is preoccupied with details and rules and with lists and organization and that he is excessively devoted to his work. It sounds like he spends his entire year focused on making sure his company is running properly. He's very scrupulous and he sounds very inflexible when it comes to matters of ethics. And he also seems to be a little bit miserly when it comes to spending money on anything since you've got thousands of uh, employees making toys by hand when you could simply purchase them one at a time. Um, I also wonder if perhaps he has a bit of binge eating disorder. He seems to eat an inordinate amount of sugar cookies and drink an inordinate amount of milk every year at the same time. And it seems that he has no control over whether he does this or not. And whenever it's presented to him, he eats as much as he can. I'd be interested in exploring further with him if he feels any guilt after he's completed all of these milk and cookie, uh, milk and cookie runs. Um, and I also would be a little concerned about your employees. It seems that your employees themselves might have obsessive compulsive disorder, which is kind of different from obsessive compulsive personality disorder. 
Obsessive compulsive disorder means that the person is obsessed with certain thoughts or certain ideas, and then they're compelled to take certain actions to reduce their anxiety. So it sounds like your employees are obsessed with the idea of making toys absolutely perfectly, and they're feeling a compulsion to listen to or to sing the same song over and over and over because they feel this helps them make higher quality toys. This is something to be quite concerned about. My recommendations, at least for your employees, would be a call to your doctor to see if perhaps he has some medication that may help them feel better or less anxious this time of year. However, for your husband, unfortunately, without extensive therapy, I can only recommend patients. Perhaps if it's only once a year, you can remove yourself to somewhere warm and, and calming for the, the Christmas season and let him do what he needs to do. As it sounds like the rest of the year, other than the perpetual singing of the same song and building of toys, things seem to be relatively calm and, and peaceful for the two of you. I'm certain that if you contacted a travel agent or spent some time with the reindeer, maybe they'd be able to help you find the perfect place to spend a sunny vacation so that your husband, husband can follow his rigid Christmas protocols all by himself. And therefore, it would save his or save the two of you a lot of arguments. I could also recommend a few therapists perhaps in that area should he decide to undertake some therapy for his obsessive compulsive personality disorder. But it sounds like he feels that what he's doing is is not causing him any problems. So I'm concerned that trying to sell him on the idea of therapy might be a little difficult. However, if you speak to the Grinch, who had a massive change of heart at Christmas, perhaps the two of them can come to an understanding that maybe a changing of one's ways is not a bad thing. I hope that helps sort out some things for you, Mrs. S. Claus. Thank you for your letter. And um, please know anytime that any of your employees or yourself decide to reach out for some help, Sojourn is always here. And we look forward to speaking with any of you at any time. Thank you.